I'm Brent Adams. I've waited for years for a people's movement to spark, and once it did, I wanted to be front and center with my camera. Before Occupy Santa Cruz, there was Peace Camp 2010. Camping at the county courthouse has a tradition in Santa Cruz. Long before the Occupy movement, people brave the elements and sheriff's deputies without the safety of a national movement. These brave souls stuck it out for more than two months. They did get a bit of press coverage, though. I'm Matt Dinesh at the Santa Cruz County Courthouse, where homeless activists have been protesting city ordinances for more than a month. Demonstrators have been camping out outside the Santa Cruz County Courthouse, protesting the city's no camping law. It bans anyone from sleeping outside between 11 at night and 8.30 in the morning, which protesters say they just want to be able to sleep without being ticketed by police. There's 19 citations were handed around. Uh, seven people were arrested all over the weekend in connection with the camping issue that has been playing out at the Santa Cruz County Courthouse. For more than a month, many have been sleeping homeless in front of the county courthouse to protest Santa Cruz City's ban on sleeping outdoors. Even after the police sweep this weekend, some protesters say they're not going anywhere. Peace Camp 2010 protesters may have been cited, but they haven't given up. Day number 34 of Peace Camp 2010. This big blue lump here actually is our attorney, Ed Fry, sleeping on the deluxe inflatable mattress and whatnot. Ed spent cold nights on the steps, though he has a family and a comfy home. He was arrested trying to bring awareness of the illegality of the basic human right of sleep to the people. They're approaching him now and they've got him ringed and they're telling him he's got to get up. Many sought refuge with the camp, a safe place to sleep, but not safe from the authorities. This is our attorney Ed Fry, eminent constitutional attorney here in Santa Cruz County trying to convince the law officers to cease and desist of their own um, volition. Our attorney very, very angry at this point. You're going to put him under arrest? Get the hell out of here! Leave him alone! Our attorney very, very upset and angry at this point. Ed Fry is now physically blocking the deputies from getting to this individual. $70 an hour, $100 an hour for each officer? Is this the way to do it? Let's have a public dialogue about it. At times, there were as many as 50 people sleeping on the steps of the courthouse. All knew they risked arrest and could face six months in jail for the crime of sleeping. Many were arrested. Four are still locked in a long court battle. Now, these demonstrators are protesting city laws prohibiting sleeping outside. Now, do you remember what you were doing on July 4th? Well, that's when this protest started, just to give you some context here. Are you Chris? I am. Hey Chris, you have a warrant out for your arrest. So I'm going to right. need you to go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Okay. You guys should go to the city hall! Get out of here! and move to City Hall, they did. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Where they faced the city's anti-camping laws enforced by the SCPD. Here it's illegal to sleep anywhere outside of a building between the hours of 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. It's also illegal to lay underneath a blanket, even if you're awake. new numbers of homeless people in Santa Cruz County. Number of homeless up 22 percent from just two years ago. The law itself is, is hideously unconstitutional um, and, and ludicrous on the face of it to, to illegalize something that is necessary for the function of human life.
The meters are from the 1950s era and are coming out of retirement for a new program called Imagine Positive Change. Eight meters with a metal corona saying Imagine will be placed on highly visible corners on Pacific Avenue. I got a pool going, a betting pool going. They won't last longer than 48 hours before they're destroyed by local activists. It's just another way to shame and embarrass people who do what I do for a living. Need a meter? Help the homeless. And it's called Imagine Positive Change. They want to use old parking meters. Instead of being hassled by people looking for spare change, they want to help the needy by allowing people to put change in what they call a homeless meter. Instead of giving your spare change to somebody who may just be using it to go buy some booze or drugs, you can know that your money is going to go to uh, somebody who really needs it and will be used in an appropriate way. It's just another way to shame and embarrass people. They won't last longer than 48 hours before they're destroyed by local activists. Christopher Doyen logged over 100 videos. Then, as Anonymous hit the news, he found new notoriety. Notice the hat. He calls himself Commander X and says he's part of Anonymous and orchestrated the Orlando Project. He asked us to hide his identity. The power of Anonymous is, is, is that we have the ability to affect change on the internet. You have a site on, online, all of a sudden we snap our fingers and that site yeah. is gone. One turd in 34 days and I think I'll go ahead and uh, own up to that. I'd like to state for the public record that this press conference is being held against the advice of my legal counsel. This document alleges that I am the notorious hacker activist known to the world as Commander X. I am Commander X. I am in association with the global internet freedom movement known as Anonymous. And I say yes. I am immensely proud, humbled to the core be a part of the idea called Anonymous. It is also claimed that I am a member of the People's Liberation Front, a shadowy and infamous group of cyber warriors with a quarter century legacy of nonviolent resistance. And I say that I am not only a founding member of PLI, but I am its leader. and ultimately responsible for all actions done under its flag. I'm a street person. My name is Commander Vance. You can damn well expect it. Old homeless man has pleaded not guilty to charges that he joined in an anonymous organized sniper attack that temporarily shut down Santa Cruz County servers. Chris Doyle was arrested yesterday and is being held until the bail hearing scheduled for Thursday in U.S. District Court in San Jose, California. Not much is known about Doyle, except that he is homeless. Oberman was sketchy on the details of Doyle's arrest and then on other things. He declined to confirm or deny whether his client is Commander X as the indictment alleges, or if his client has taken part in anonymous activities as claimed in the indictment. 